Ha ha ha! A Spuds Buckley remix. <laughs> yeah. I hate that Spuds Buckley. <laughs> oh, he's trying to make a buck. Nice. Thanks. Bring Spuds back. Yeah. Oh, that's going to happen. Spuds ruled. Wow. You that know, was good, Drew. Kind of like Boston, though. We did want to, like, recast the Spuds Buckley character on the Opie and Anthony yeah, show. Yeah, what happened? Because the original Spuds, Spuds Buckley died tragically in uh, 19, uh, I think it was like 98. Mm. Somewhere around there, barbecue in the bedroom. Yeah, and he was a he was a big part of the Opie and Anthony show. And we need to recast the Spuds Buckley character. Do we? I think some of the guys were going to give it a try around here, and then we dropped the bit. Yeah, and we should have dropped the bit. Eight seven seven two one two O and A. By the way, I got a Travis who wrote the sheet. His name is not Tank Cankerous, you dumbbell. It's Tank Hankerous. Tank Hankerous with an H. Tank Hankerous. Tank Hankerous is a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? We have a new shirt for. Uh... Tank. Yeah, Tank, why don't you put your uh, your shirt on? Now, what are you doing, Tank? Everybody? You don't tank. have a, uh, a tank top on. Yeah, exactly. What does the shirt say, Tank? Uh, I can't read it. You're, that's E-Rock. I want to talk to Tank. Um, the shirt says, here comes the S-Show. <laughs> 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 ah, that's great. <laughs> So fitting. <laughs> yeah, as he puts on his tank top. Uh, instant feedback. Sonny Ferrelli from Boston writes, he's really good. Don't knock this guy till you listen to him, uh, and then you can make your decision. Of course, the new lead singer of Boston, now that Brad Delp has passed on, is uh, Tommy DiCarlo, who used to work at a Home Depot. And then and he, they got another guy in there, though, so they had to get two people to replace Brad Delp. Well, you got to harmonize. Yeah, true. I think when Boston went on tour, they, uh, Brad Delp actually sang over his own voice. Yeah, I think they tracked it. Because they ha did a little of that over uh, dubbing. And then you got mm -hmm. John Fox from Bl uh, Brooklyn. He writes, there are four karaoke bands out on tour right now this summer. You got Boston without Brad Delp. You got Styx without Dennis DeYoung. Mm -hmm. You got Foreigner without Lou Graham. And you got uh, Journey without Steve Perry. Yeah. Wow. And people are going to these shows. Like it's the, the real band. These shows are doing really well without the lead singers that made them famous. People well, love nostalgia. Sticks. At least Tommy Shaw sang. Is he still in the band? Huh. Yeah, of course he is. Because he sang some of the stuff too. But oh, he was he was a great guitarist. He's but... there until the damn Yankees get together. Yeah, and then he goes <laughs> screw Sticks. Here's a little taste of uh, Tommy DiCarlo as the new lead singer of Boston. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Hey, the guy sounds pretty good. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You think he's on the new shirts? Like they have a Boston logo with a guy in a forklift backing up? <laughs> Getting lumber for somebody. He's holding a propane tank on the shirt. <laughs> hey, uh, Where are the ceiling fans, fatty? <laughs> what's that? That is one of his professional photos. Oh, it looks good. Oh, this is, oh God. Yuck. There's a photo of him. And he's got like a little keyboard. It looks like it's floating next to him. And his right hand is in in tinka link a link position. <laughs> tinka link a link. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a glamour shot. <laughs> that is awful. Well, they you know gotta give it to him. I'm getting uh, some more info from Stump Brain. Uh, Journey's lead singer is a Filipino guy. Really? Yeah, named Arnel yeah. Panetta, yeah. something like that. I heard he sounds just like Steve Perry. Let me hear some of him. But you know what? I want to see Steve Perry. Yeah. Why isn't uh, Steve Perry going out with them? Or why isn't Dennis DeYoung with, uh, they just hate their old bandmates? After a while, you just can't stand the people you work with. Yep. But what else are you doing, though? Let's say hi to Mike. What else is he doing? Mike? I don't know. Where's What's Dennis DeYoung? Dennis DeYoung. I think Dennis DeYoung, like, was allergic to light or something. I saw one of those dumb freaking VH1 <laughs> shows. Oh, was he really? And he had, he had, he had a problem with light. 
And he was doing Broadway shows. He was doing like the music of Broadway as a one man show in in little cabaret theaters oh, around the country. But look it up. Jay? I, I, <laughs> look it up, though. I think he he has some kind of allergic reaction to light, and it, and it prevented him from travel. I don't know. Well, didn't he want to? He's a freak. He's allergic a weirdo. He wanted light. to do like, the stage act where, where you had to. Uh, he wanted to do like the stage play of Mr. Roboto. He well, that's act, genius. Act it all out, and you mm. guys were like, this stinks. Mm -hmm. Let's say hi to Mike, uh, who works at WBCN in Boston. He wants in oh. on this conversation. What's up, Mike? Not much. How's it going? Good, bro. Yeah, Tom Schultz, he was pretty much the mastermind behind Boston. Yep. He was the one that came up with that whole falsetto chorus stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah? Felted. Yeah. And so I guess during the years, though, after his like, creative differences and stuff, and they eventually fell apart, and after Delp died, his wife actually blamed Schultz for some of his depression for causing all that crap. Why? I have no idea. I guess they just had a big falling out, and uh, Tom yeah. was giving them crap and just led to one thing to another. Yeah, they didn't talk to each other at the end of uh, Brad Delp's life. Nope, that was uh, pretty much it. Yeah. And, uh, that, and, Delp get over it. and now you got Home Depot guy, and he's sounding pretty good. Yeah, I haven't heard him yet, so I have no idea. Yeah, we just gave him a little listen. Kind of sounds like him. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for the info. Let's say hi to Will, uh, the trucker. Will. Hey, morning, boys. Hey. Hey, I was just wanting to find out who replaced Tony DeCarlo at the uh, Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the big question. <laughs> who replaced There's just some dude at Home Depot. You know what? I replaced Tommy DeCarlo. That's right. <laughs> Who's Tommy DeCarlo? Well, he's the lead singer of Boston. And, um, and, and I know. filled his position here at the uh, Home Depot. And I'm stacking sheetrock. Yeah. <laughs> How big are the gigs they're doing? Yeah, uh, they're, they're about five thousand seats. Or I was mistaken. I said Jones Beach. Uh, they're playing PNC. Where, you know, we just played PNC, and I'm sure they'll get you know ten, twelve, fourteen thousand people there. Easy. They'll sure. Pack them together. They'll do. They'll do fifteen thousand. I'll do a couple bands together. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it, brother. All right. And I'm, oh, yeah. I'm getting more info on uh, Lou Graham. Lou Graham played a uh, a lobster festival up there in Maine. Ooh. So his old bandmates are touring as Foreigner, and Lou Graham is playing Lobster Fest. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell happened to our you? <laughs> Why does he just go out with the band? All right, what, do they rape each other on the road? <laughs> they be? they do know. have some hatred, some of these guys, but they could never, ever play with each other again. The guy falls asleep and is be waking and his bandmates on his chest. <laughs> He's got it out. How bad should it be on the road? You're know. doing a Lobster Fest in Maine. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Eric in Indiana. Eric. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I heard uh, Alice in Chains is doing that cover band thing, and, and you can't replace Lane Staley. I hear they sound really good, too, but Lane Staley was just a special performer. Isn't the singer a black guy, too? He's a black guy that sounds a lot like Lane, but that's mm. another band that could pull it off because you could harmonize. So you don't really need the guy to sound exactly like Lane because you could cover up a lot of stuff with some mm. harmonization. That's hard, though. Yeah. Lane yeah, had a very distinct voice. We were talking to someone recently, and they said the new Alice in Chains stuff is really, really good. There's a song hmm. on there that's going to blow everyone away. I forgot who was telling us that, but... I want to know who replaced Stephen Carr in Foundry. <laughs> uh, who they get there? Um, Here we go. Yeah, the tour. Yeah. Get out of my way. Yeah. My way. I think uh, Corky, after he left life, was on. <laughs> Corky. He sang a little bit. <laughs> what big queen replaced him? <laughs> Charles Nelson, right? Paul Lynn. <laughs> Get out of my way, hole. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to somebody in Jersey. Somebody in Jersey, how are you today? All right, good, guys. How are you doing? Hey, man. They didn't have your name on the screen. I don't know who you are. It's, um, I saw Alison Chains last year at the Borgata, and the guy, not only is he a black guy, he's this tall, skinny black guy with a huge afro, looks like Shaft. Doesn't look the part at all, but he was Shaft. great. But he was great, huh? Oh. I just have a yeah, problem seeing these point. bands after the lead singer either dies or moves on. Except for ACDC with this Brian Johnson. He he filled the shoes uh, quite yeah, well and had is. a lot of huge hits after uh, when he became the singer. Well, Bon Scott died, but he didn't just do a bunch of Bon Scott covers. He did new, new material. Like, right. He replaced the lead singer, and they do a to it's a whole new era of the band mm -hmm. that's different. These guys are just going out like... Plus, ACDC was a lot younger then. It was almost like the... Ad well, they, uh, they were more successful with Brian uh, Johnson. Yeah, they were able to replace him, write new songs, so it was, you know... And have huge hits. 
But when you're just going out like after the band has seen 20 years and then, and then yeah. just the guy is singing. So they have gonna, established songs and that's the only thing people want to hear. To do an impression of them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's and it is an impression. They're not throwing their own twist on it. They're trying to sound exactly like the, the singer does. that's what the audience wants. Uh, Choppy, Boston, listening on BCN. How are you? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey there, Chappy. Hey, T and I were talking about the uh, Filipino singer from Journey. And apparently the guy doesn't speak English. He just gets out there and sings. <laughs> Somebody else does the announcement. <laughs> hey, this is the song I'm going to sing. And the guy just starts belting the shit out and stuff out. Sorry Ooh. about that. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, that is, that's pretty funny. No English, huh? It's, is that I true? Think. It's not true. It's not true? No. It's not true. He does. He's I like to think it's true. That, it's that, not true. That the new lead singer of Journey is Filipino, and he doesn't speak English, he's, but he knows how to sing in English. He's got a really thick Filipino accent, but when he sings, he sounds identical to Steve Perry. They're mm. pulling audio. Steve, who replaced you in yes, Boundary? Yes, Steve who? other morbidly obese uh, oh. homosexual who shops for uh, clothing at Lane Bryant. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lane Bryant. You did shop at Lane Bryant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get a Brian. In Wait, Jersey. were you the original singer, or did you replace someone? Uh, no, it was me. I was I, I was the original one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I right. replaced Harvey Firestein. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Duff McKagan told that us song. that the new Allison Chain song is really, really good. Thank you for that. Uh, blowing fouls from Cleveland. Oh. Uh, E-Rock is working on a Foundry remix. It's not done yet, but he wants to play a little Ooh, sample okay. for us to prove that every every song from Foundry sounded exactly the same. <laughs> oh, did it? <laughs> They're all the same tempo. Yeah. All right, all here right. we go. E-Rock's got a little montage, a little montage? Of Foundry song. Okay. <laughs> Of the new song, yeah. It's the hit. <laughs> this is a new song. That's, so. not, that's, not, that's the same song, dude. Is it? Hold on, E-Rock's arguing. No, E-Rock. That's the guitar solo from Pendulum, and, and there's another guitar solo. I forgot to write down the third song, but it's mixed together. Oh, it's wow. exactly the same. Oh, is that all you have so far? Both so guitar far? solos are... All right, wait. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, we, this we, needs a setup because it's so damn good. But <laughs> how, how are we going to cue the people? Hit the bell when it's a new song. Okay. It, it, this whole thing sounds like one song, but E-Rock put three songs three together. Three songs together. From Foundry. Start over. Okay, okay, here's the first song. When you hear the bell, that'll be the second song yeah. kicking in. I love Pendulum. I love that song, Pendulum. Wow, that's a super Thank mix. You. Almost every dun, 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 dun. song. Almost every song starts and ends the same with the t -t 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 -t. and then a long <laughs> guitar wang right at the end. Fantastic! If we didn't tell the people, you would think that's one song. That was one three cool song. songs. One long act of auditory rape. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let E Rock mix your your songs. You might have a hit if right. you put the whole album together. You got one good song. Every band back, back together. <laughs> Here's the uh, go to a Lowe's maybe and get a <laughs> singer that can replace you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's I can just trade True down. Value Hardware. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to Ace to look for a replacement. <laughs> Ace is the place to get a lead singer. Yes. And uh, we're doing a song called Tough Acting to Acting. <laughs> Hey, athletes, Ford, get out of my way. <laughs> you guys want to hear I like the Pendulum. Yeah. It's a good song. Hey. We're going to go backwards now. You want to hear the uh, <clears throat> Filipino sounding like uh, Steve Perry? Oh, please. All right, here we go. This is not Steve Perry. It's just a small town girl living in a lonely world. It's just a midnight. Holy jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's just a city boy. Born as a sound 
That's ridiculous. Get out of my way. No. They also re-recorded all of their greatest hits and put it out as uh, a double CD. So the first CD is a greatest hits album with with the Filipino With the guys. new singer. The new so, singer. wow. And that's a, that's and some good marketing. Whoa, well, that's ballsy. And then a second and then a second disc of all originals uh, with, with him singing as well. I don't know how that works, you know, if, if there's an advantage to that. He redid certain songs? Redid all, all the greatest of them. hits. All the hits. It's a great. Oh, Steve Perry doesn't yeah. get anything. So and Steve Perry, I guess, doesn't get performance royalties on the new CD. I guess. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. I'm assuming that's what that's what I mean. Un unless he unless he gets uh, writers uh, royalties. Oh my Steve God. Perry was another one they had on that VH1 stuff, and he looked like he was way full of himself. Yeah, uh, they don't get along at all. Can no. you find out about Dennis the Young and this light no. thing? I haven't found it. Yet. Steve, it's time for getting back together. Yes, I would love it because that's I think the we'd question. Make no money. <laughs> you know, you know how much people would want to hear you sing Pendulum. Um, oh my all. God! Now the song's now a hit. It's there's a resurgence. Did he do Pendulum Unplugged? <laughs> uh, Just doing a guitar. guys in there, guitar. That's Put a big true. cowboy you, hat on you, you. You could. Would it sound? You <laughs> would it sound hat. awful? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Unplugged. How about acapella? No, <laughs> no. I, I, as in, uh, why not? I mean, we're here. We got microphones. <laughs> Done, brain. Yes, you are correct, sir. He did get a viral infection that made him sensitive to light. <laughs> And he has been cured of it now, but it, uh, uh, it was a serious I like viral to, infection. I like to think that he's been living in the dark for the last 10 years. <laughs> that is a horrible thing. His two pets are both... Mo mo uh, oh. 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 Hey, oh. Marble Mouth, oh. what? <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh. He, Jimmy's hungry. For surgery, they should insert a funny bone. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. <laughs> <laughs> so why, not, why can't we get an acapella version of uh, Foundry? I mean, uh, of, of uh, Pendulum. I think the guys would love it. I know I would. Yeah, you um, work on that while we're on vacation. Okay, no, I, I mean will. Today. today. I don't honestly remember all the lyrics. All right, yeah, you got until uh, we get... I, I could do the chorus, uh, and that's about it. You got The day we get back from vacation, you're doing that on okay. the show. So you got a week to practice. You got it. Let's say hi to Kristen and Union. Kristen. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. I love you guys. Listen, my husband and I went and saw a journey about three years ago. Actually, I went to go to the opening band when Fuel was really big, even though they sucked. But my husband went to the journey, and they were amazing. They put on an incredible show. I couldn't tell if it was Steve Perry or the other guy, so they were really, really good. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think that guy just turned me around a little bit. I, I don't really like seeing these bands without the lead singer. The that guy, uh... But, oh, wow, he could hit it. <laughs> I thought I thought our uh, Anthony's old pal uh, Hugo could do the journey. Hugo, thing. yeah. But that guy, wow. Hugo looks just like him too. Yeah. Thank well, you, you, Kristen. Great, I love you. Oh, thanks, uh, Dan, North Carolina. Hey, Dan. Hello. Hey, What's you're up? on the air. Yeah, Dan. Uh, yeah, I saw him in Charlotte uh, Saturday night. Man, that guy is dead on. They're not missing Steve Perry. Yeah. Steve Perry I'm must here. be at home, just freaking kicking walls all day long. <laughs> yeah, Does he look like him at all, or? Yeah, he's got he's um he's got the long hair, long dark hair like Steve Perry had. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, they... I mean, he's a run, he's a short little dude, but man, he can he can put it out. Well, hmm. There's a surprise, a Filipino that's short. I really Steve Perry was last seen at the uh, store buying charcoal and lighter fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Bruce, Louisiana. Brucey. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't uh, Brother Joe do a thing with Aerosmith songs where he runs them all together and you can't tell where they change? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember that. I, don't know. I thought they talked about I'm not my brother's Perry keeper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted more improv out of Steve. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So great. It's fantastic. <laughs> totally devoid of oh any God. improvisational skills. Who's replacing you in the foundry? I, 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 another morbidly obese replacing me, Matt. <laughs> Apparently, Wikipedia has Steve Perry's bio picture, a picture of him cooking over a barbecue. Interesting. Hmm. Foreshadowing? Yeah. Ask mm -hmm. Sam. All right, we're going to take a break. Drew Boogie. Get Jeru. Drew Boogie will uh, play us into break. Oh, in, the hi in the hizzy. That's right. Booyah! 
Anthony. Opie and Dopey. It's the Opie and Anthony Show.